Alrighty, YouTube, Hermie here, coming at you with episode 11 of the Alphabet Arrangement Series, and this is going to be the Koalas. The Koalas, definitely a fun side. I've chosen a Premier League team. I was tempted to do a sort of half uh, Spanish League, half Germany type league. I ended up doing a Bund uh, Premier League, it just seemed a bit easier. So anyway, we'll start at the back. I'll put it on Premier League first, so a little bit easier. And we'll start at the back, and we have the Team of the Year, Tim Krul. And this guy's an absolute beast. He initially had a 74 silver card, then a 76 gold card, uh, then an 80 in form, and now he's got an 84 Team of the Year. And from his in form, the 80 in form, the diving, just the diving went up from 82 to 88, and the positioning went up from 73 to 82. So you can imagine what uh, it went up from his, just his gold or even his silver card, so... He's definitely a fun keeper. He was an absolute beast for me. Uh, if I remember, I'll chuck in a couple of saves in the in the goal section just so you can see how he goes. But definitely get a cruel. He's real cheap as well. Let's see what I got him for. 40k, so definitely a very good keeper. Up there with Joe Hart and Petacek, so if you want to check, try him out, give him a go. And the right back is going to be Kelly. Uh, Martin Kelly from Liverpool. He's got three-star skills and a four-star weak foot. He's also got 79 strength and a 37 long shot, right? 37 long shot, but when you see a clip, I have a long shot from him. So, I, so I decided to chuck that in. You'll see the clip and you'll think, why the hell has he got a 37 long shot? Sometimes you can just get lucky with these things, but... Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, his traits, uh, he's got an injury, he's injury prone, he's an early crosser. So there are two traits, and Krull's trait is a goalkeeper punch. So I'll move on to the first centre back, and it's going to be the uh, informed Koscielny. And his trade, he's got a power header. He's got a four-star weak foot, and he's from his original card. The defending went from 76 to 83. The jumping went from 90 to 94. The reactions went from 72 to 83. The tactical awareness went from 79 to 91, and the marking went from 79 to 91. He's a very strong player. A little bit shorter than the other centre back, but decent pace, and he's just very strong on the ball. He'll win all the tackles. And the other centre-back is going to be the main man, Vincent Campagny. Uh, he's got a power header, uh, sorry, he's got a leader trait. That's his trait, so he's an absolute boss, leads the team. He's also got a four-star weak foot. He's got 88 strength, 87 tactical awareness, and 88 standing tackle. He's an absolute beast. Him and David Luiz are probably the most overpowered centre-backs in the Premier League. And he rivals Thiago Silva, if not for pace, but he rivals him for strength. And we'll get on to the left-back, and it is Kolarov. And this guy's got the most traits of anyone. He's got a power free kick, an early crosser, a long shot, and a speed dribbler. And he's an absolute beast shot on him. He's got 78 ball control, 80 crossing, 81 free kick accuracy, and 90 shot power. And he's a very good passer. Over 70s in his passing uh, in-game stats and stuff like that. Very good going forward. A little bit slower than, say, maybe your Clichy's, your Everest, or your Jose Enriquez, or something like that. But definitely one to try out. An absolute beast of a, a rocket of a shot on him. So check that out. Uh, the first centre mid is actually a centre attacking mid, and it's going to be Klesnic. And I had to move this back. I was going to put him as the striker, but I didn't want to do it. I wanted to chuck him. He wasn't quick enough. 60 pace, I don't think, is quick enough for me to have a striker. So I, I moved him back, and I moved the centre mid up. So, so he's got three-star skills, a three-star weak foot, 83 finishing, and a 72 long shot. He is injury prone. That's one of his traits. Um, but that doesn't matter too much. I didn't really get in with him. And he's, yeah, if you get onto his shot, it's an absolute rocket. It's a very, very nice shot. And the central centre mid is going to be Kasami, and this guy's a bit of a gem. If you've never checked out this guy, uh, Silver from Fulham. Uh, he's got a long shot trait. It's an absolute beast when he got onto it. He's got 76 strength, 74 ball control, 73 long shot, and 78 shot power. So you know he's got a rocket on him. And decent stats for a Silver. 66 defending isn't too bad. He's going to win you some tackles. He's pretty tall. He's pretty strong. So check him out. And the other centre mid is going to be Cranchar. And I love Cranchar. I haven't used him really before. But he's an absolute god. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot. His traits are injury-prone, flair, uh, flair and playmaker. Uh, he's got 77 vision, 82 ball control, 80 long shot, and 84 shot power. So he has a rocket. I'm pretty sure I scored one or two maybe goals with him. Uh, he's definitely got some power on him. And he skills pretty well. He's... Fairly quick. He's only got 69 paces, you can see that, but he moves quicker, especially when they skill. They normally get a bit of a, a speed boost, and he's definitely one of those. And the right wing is going to be Kalou. Uh, a bit underrated in the Premier League. He's now moved over back to the French League. I think that's where he came from originally, maybe. Um, 
But yeah, he's now uh, at Lille in the French League. He's been transferred. He's got four-star skills, a three-star weak foot, a speed dribbler trait. He's got 84 ball control, 82 finishing, 80 volleys. And he's he's pretty decent in the air. His, freaky, uh, his heading accuracy, sorry, accuracy sorry, is about 74 or so. Um, he scored the most goals for me. He's an absolute beast in this team. Uh, we'll move across to the other side, and the left wing is Gael Kakuta. I don't mind this guy. He's got a four-star skills, three-star weak foot, uh, flair and speed dribbler traits. He's got 85 balance, 79 ball control, and 71 shot power, which I think that should be at least a 75 shot power. He's got a bit of a rocket when you get onto it. Uh, definitely check him out. He's very good to skill with. He's He does his chops real quick. He's good dribbling, very close, you know, close ball control. Definitely one to check out. And the striker is going to be the transferred Kagawa. This is the centre mid that I moved up forward. I actually found him in a centre forward role, so I just transferred him up a little bit. He's got four star skills, four star weak foot, and a flare trait. And I'll read out all the interesting stats. He's got absolute beasty stats, his in game stats 91 acceleration, 94 agility, 95 balance, 90 reactions, 86 positioning, 88 ball control, 92 curve, 92 finishing, 88 long pass, 88 long shot, and 99 short pass. So his passing is amazing. Uh, he can skill pretty well, and he's got a very, very good long shot on him. It is an absolute rocket. And his, his finesse shots are pretty decent as well. Unfortunately, he didn't work out for me as well as I'd hoped. Obviously, he's meant to be a center mid, so in the striker position, he's just not as much as not as good as he should be. That's not his original position, so he just didn't work out too well. But anyway, we'll get on to the goals, and we'll talk a bit more about it then. Alrighty, guys, here we go with the gameplay. And uh, the first goal is going to be Kelly's absolute beast long shot I was talking about. Absolute rocket. It's here in the 37 long shot. It's just absolutely makes no sense. And uh, we'll start at the back. I forgot to put some saves in from Tim Krull, but just check him out. It, the card, as I said, is only 40,000, so definitely one to pick up and try out. You will not regret it. I'm not quite as good as Czech, I don't think. I've been playing with Czech a little bit lately, and I don't think Krull's quite there. But he's close. I think I'd put him probably third or fourth. Him or Rainer would be third or fourth in the Premier League behind Czech and Hart. But um, Martin Kelly is just an absolute beast. He's so tall, and he's so strong on the ball and in the tackles, so he'll win pretty much anything. And um, yeah, I can't believe the long shot. It's craziness. And uh, the centre-backs, Koscielny and company, are absolute tanks. Like, if you need some centre-backs, just, just chuck them in. And there is Crenshaw's long shot that I was talking about. Or oh, shot power. And it's absolutely tanky. Uh, so if, you nev if you've never tried a Koscielny or a company, please do. I'm not sure why you haven't if you have not. And uh, left back, just an absolute tank. Um, he's, Colorado's just got a great power. I didn't get any goals with him, but I think I hit the crossbar a couple of times. I was just a bit unlucky. I just a bit unfortunate. But um, yeah, the, all the center mids did pretty well. Like Klesnic, I didn't, I didn't get any goals with him, which is a little unfortunate because I was trying to encase his long shot, but he ended up being pretty useless when he wasn't a striker. Uh, but Kasami, as you saw just before, I'm pretty sure he's left-footed, so that right-footed goal was pretty decent on his weak foot. And he was a real nice hidden gem, so please try Kasami if you're playing a silver, a silver Premier League squad. You need someone in the middle there. Pretty decent defending. And Cranchar, as you saw, he does skill pretty well, Cranchar, so if you want to try him out, he's always good. And um, Kakuta, as you can see here, skill's pretty decent. And he does have a bit of a long shot as you're about to see here, whack, beats the keeper, the keeper gets a touch but still can't keep it out, and um, Kagawa, I was a little, he, he'd performed better in a centre mid, he seemed to be a, in the wrong position, but when he got in the right position, he'd be able to finish it off, so you see the goals coming up soon that he is able to finish it off when he is in the right position, and um, Kalu is just an absolute beast, he scored so many goals, it was absolutely ridiculous. I'm pretty sure he scored about 12 goals, Kagawa scored about 5 or 6, and Kakuta scored about oh, 5 or 6, and that was in about maybe 10 games or so, or something like that. So, yeah, I'd recommend every single player in this team, except I'd recommend Kagawa goes into his correct position in the centre mid. Klesnich I didn't get to try out in a striker, as I moved him backwards. Maybe he's the only one that I wouldn't sort of try out. But, I don't know, he might he might go a little bit better as a striker with his finishing and his shooting. But, um, 
all the center mids, I would definitely recommend that you give a go. Uh, Cranchar in particular, four star skills and a four star weak foot is always going to go well. Kagwa's long shot there is an absolute beast. Encompassing his absolutely beastly skills. And uh, I would recommend every single person in the back four. Tanks all of them. And Cruel, I was really, really happy with Cruel. He's one of the best keepers I've used in a long, long time. Apart from Check that I said I've been using, um, Cruel I'm very, very happy with. And the L team that's going to be coming up soon is going to be a full Brazilian team. So you can guess a couple of couple of players that could be in there. Uh, there's going to be some 5-star skillers, a lot of 5-star skillers I think, some 4-star skillers, stuff like that, and some pace. And I'm really excited because I, hopefully I'll be able to get some, some more sexy goals rather than some just normal cutbacks and stuff like that. So they, they just seem to be running out. They not don't seem to be as good as... I would hope, like, I keep just doing basic cutbacks and stuff like this. But Kalu's volley, as you can see here, is an absolute rocket. Craziness. Uh, once, he, once he gets onto his shot, Kalu's got great power on his shot. Very good finesse as well, so I'm not sure. I was a little unhappy that he couldn't take his chances at Chelsea because he was really good to watch. And I believe this is another one of Kalu's volleys, I think. Let's see how we go. I think it is. I'm pretty sure this is his left foot volley. Um, yeah, this is his wrong weak foot volley off the post and in. Like, absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.